What's going on, socialites? Welcome to the Global Pokemon Society Season 8 Team Rankings. It's your commissioner, head coach, and reigning champion, Boston Braviaries, Ryan, joined by Anthony, head coach of Pittsburgh Pulte. Guys, how's it going, Anthony? I'm doing well, Ryan. Happy Pride to all my, you know, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Woo. Yes, one one love. Um, we we need that rainbow Pulte Geist uh, logo, though. That, that, well, that I mean, you're the guy that does that, so I mean. Yeah, but I'm charging money now. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it. Uh, I'll I'll work on it. I'll I'll, I'll think about it. Also joined by Alex, head coach of Lamentown Gengars. How's it going, Alex? Yo, uh, just for record, I think that runner-up in a, in a season like constitutes a free logo change. Just just because you know. What? Why? Did you, you want to change your logo? Are, I mean, like you do really right well, now? man. Like I would. Gengar is cool. We can we can get have Gengar with a silver belt or something. Yeah, yeah. I, wow. I, I like that Gengar wow. logo though. Okay. Okay, new guy. The G-Max okay. Gengar with the Lavender Town Tower. I don't know. Oh, no, it's good. A big, a big tier on it that says second best. Yeah. Hey, there you go. Oh, a my silver. God. Oh, my God. I want to die. And Always a bride. First time, bride. first time on our channel, on the main channel, Kevin, a.k.a. Sin Dragon Lord, head coach, the Phoenix Primals and reigning minor league champion, but moving up to the majors now. How's it going, Kevin? Well, it's going good. It's going to be glad to be here. Yeah, good to have you on finally. Um, your brother Chris, aka Chris Alanius, has been on with us a few times throughout the seasons, but happy to have you um, on here and get your insight on these teams. Um, first off, real quick before we hop right into the teams, Kevin, our what, what what are your thoughts going into the majors as the minor league champion? Do do you have a uh, rallying cry or a warning to all the other coaches? Hey man, listen, I, I I'm just gonna give it my best shot here. Like, there's a lot of really good teams uh, in the majors that I got to keep an eye out for. Uh, I'm gonna be doing the same exact thing that I did in the minors league. I'll be scouting everybody every week. Uh, as they come up, so just know that I'll be doing that. Uh, I'll be uh, picking your teams uh, layer by layer and coming up with a strategy to beat it. So that's all I can say. Yeah, he, he's humble on the podcast, but in the Discord, we all know he's been talking smack ever since he got that minor league trophy. But let's hop right into it because we got 16 teams to talk about and rank. So we're hopping right in with the Black City Zekrom now. Last season, the Zekrom went in a little bit of a different direction. Um, I think a lot of us will agree that a Black City team is usually pretty aggressive, um, pretty offensive, and they definitely went in a different route last season, and it did not pan out for them. Um, I think it was their worst season ever in the league. They're, they're usually somewhere around four or five wins, like that 500 mark pretty consistently, and they, they just couldn't get there this time, missing the playoffs for like only the second time in their league history. So right here we see we got a sand team. So whether if you've watched the videos I did about different strategies and stuff for doubles in Brilliant Diamond Shine Pearl, weather is a big one. Sand, kind of a niche weather. It's not like the big rain or sun teams. But we see here we got a pretty... Um, dedicated sand team. So, Anthony, do, do you want to round out these Pokemon, uh, list them off, and kind of talk about the team for a second? Sure. Uh, I mean, definitely, obviously, we see the Tyranitar for the sand pick, you know, obviously. Credilly, good, strong user of, you know, Storm Drain to help with all of that sand, you know, keep it, keep it from getting too wet. Uh, you know, but wow, you know, one thing we were wow. talking about, but fuck you, Alex. <laughs> one thing we were talking about before the the podcast started is, you know, this team is definitely going to get crippled real hard if you take out that credibility by any water type. Um, a lot of water weaknesses here. Um, 
you know, some ice weaknesses, you know, abound as well. Just uh, also, again, we're used to Black City being very fast, very aggressive. This is a very slow team. Yeah. Like, there is no speed on this team. <laughs> Even Sand Slash with Sand Rush, like, yeah, it's going to outspeed, like, some of your, Something. like, 90s and 100s, <laughs> but it's... There's still some Pokemon that don't even need a Choice Scarf to outspeed it, you know? And Sand Slash being your sweeper, like, you're, yeah, you're kind you're of like... You're going to need a Swords Dance. You're going to need some help with... Yeah, like, it's not the best, you know, rushing Pokemon anyway, so... You know, not, not my favorite Black City team I've seen, but, you know, there's some pieces I like. Yeah, they... They can move some stuff around. Um, Gliscor's pretty pretty decent. Um, in doubles, you typically run Hyper Cutter more so that you can't be intimidated. Um, again, Swords Dance, and it's got a good typing again as long as you watch out for those ice attacks. Gliscor is pretty good. So Gliscor can set up and do some things. Um, Registeel is just an annoying wall. Nido King um, can get some big hits in with the Sheer Force. I wish there was a little more speed control on here. Kevin, what, what do you think of this team? Any, any thoughts? You literally just took the thought right out of my head. Uh, I was just thinking if it had more speed control, like Nido King and uh, Sand Slash would probably be a little bit bigger of a threat. Um, and then with Cradley being the only defense against the glaring water weakness, that that's my main issues with it. It's just the lack of speed control and the glaring water weakness that the team appears to have. Um, but I mean, if uh, I mean, if you eliminate those weaknesses though, I mean, you got some kind of sneaky hitters. Um, I was actually working with uh, the Chicago Slow Kings in the minors because he had a Tyranitar and a Sand Slash and we EV'd that Sand Slash to where it would outspeed Crobat uh, in the sand. So, I mean, it can outspeed 130 easily, but, uh, but once you start putting in like base 100s with like choice scarf it's gonna be a little bit more challenging yeah for sure i do just want to throw out before we move on to the next team uh parasect with dry skin and parasect being able to learn rage powder can also be a water immunity that kind of acts as a storm drain mm -hmm. as well so that, that, that is something um so between Piddilly and parasect he does have a couple water immunities um so we'll just have to see how that kind of goes but I, I, I think definitely like his Dawn fan Mawile can easily be switched out for for something else. Yeah, but the Paris even the the Storm Green, you know, still isn't gonna stop the ice because he does have four, five Pokemon yeah. that are weak to ice. Like ugh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not I'm, I'm not saying that, you know, but you mm -hmm. you figure, okay, with your rock Pokemon, yeah, they don't resist the ice, but at least you threaten it back. So mm -hmm. pretty big fighting weakness too. You know, yeah. like it's just it looks cool. Like looking <laughs> at this team, like that just looks cool for me. Like that's really on brand for sand, but uh hi Ryan. I, I don't know, man. Like it's really easily overtaken. Like they look intimidating, but they're kind of glassy when you get down to it. Like a lot of common moves just hit those and it's it's not bad. I think Registeel is really bulky, even if it's just like straight steel typing. Pure steel is not a bad typing if you're just going to be defensive. All right, moving on to the reigning champs, your Boston Braviaries. So um, I will say straight out, this is a very uh, support heavy team. Um, it's kind of lacking in that kick. And I do see that as a glaring weakness, but uh we got him on top, Clefable, Roserade, Staraptor, Kecleon, Mr. Mime, Flareon, Frostlass, and Gorbis. Uh, Kevin, what were your thoughts on this team? Any first impressions? Well, the first thing I was gonna say was that in the in the draft, uh, everyone was talking about you know Cresselia being the the number one uh, VGC pick for BDSP. But I, if Cresselia is number one, I got to say Hitmontop is a very close second. Uh, Hitmontop has just got so much versatility as far as what it can do. It's got Fake Out, Wide Guard, Intimidate, Faint if you want to break through Protect. Like, it's got anything you can want it to do, it can do. 
and Clefable is also a huge threat as well. Um, so it's, it's, despite the fact that it's support heavy, I still think that if played correctly, this team could have a lot of success in the upcoming season. Yeah, it's, it's definitely going to need a lot of play. And yeah, Hitmontop is definitely like the best Intimidator in the format just because of its other uh, skill sets. Um, I think it does edge out Arcanine, um, even though Arcanine gets like Will-O-Wisp and Snarl. Um, but yeah, a Anthony, what, what are your thoughts on the Braviaries? Yeah, double Intimidate seems super rude. <laughs> um, uh, you know, uh, I agree. I definitely, I want to see a head, uh, like, Clefable's a good heavy hitter, but, like, I think you do better for, like, you know what I mean, like, that pop to it. But other than that, I do like the team. Yeah, Clefable can do, like, a mini Cresselia impression with Calm Mind and Moonlight. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, so it, it can do, like, a little bit of that. Obviously, it doesn't have just the insane bulk that Cresselia has to, to really yeah. stand up to some of those hits, but... But yeah, like, like good, you said, if, if you I know. wanted to try and go that way in certain matchups, I could see that. Um, Alex, I'll, I'll let you kind of do some some words before I kind of get my last thoughts on this team. No, man, you guys pretty much covered it. Um, I, I like your Clefable on the team, but like that and the Hitmon Top are my favorite parts. I think Rose Raid's like like a hidden like special sweeper you got, but like I, I too would like to see some more offense on this. But it's good otherwise. Yeah, definitely. The the problem with Roserade is it doesn't have like a setup sort of thing. Like in mm -hmm. in this format, your your sweepers you need to set up. You need to get that sword dance. You need to get that nasty plot because it, it we're not playing in a world of Dynamaxes and Z moves where you got that one click KO button. Yeah. Um, there's there's definitely uh, the this team has pretty decent speed control with a lot of icy wind. And uh, there's a couple um, Trick Room users too. So th it has speed control like that. Gorbis is actually right now my best setup sweeper with Shell Smash. Um, mm. And it has a pretty good move pool as well um, between Ice Beam, Shadow Ball, and Muddy Water. It can do quite a bit. So that, that, that's kind of where we're going. And like Anthony said, with the double Intimidate, if I want to run Intimidate Staraptor against a physical team, I always have that. Or I can even just run Reckless and do like Choice Pants mm -hmm. Staraptor and just smash into things. Mm. Kill things with Brave Bird. <laughs> yeah. All right, moving on to the Badoops, Buffalo Badoops. Um, pre pretty the Buffalo Badoop. team. <laughs> I love the Badoop. That was just great. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to let Alex ball. start start off this one, though, because because we've kind of been stealing all the oh, words for you. I'm not, I'm not going to say anything else. I just wanted to say <laughs> I just love the Badoop. <laughs> I mean... Oh. You gave me this one after, like, all the other teams? Like, what? There's a lot of normal here. Um... I don't know. Maybe I'm just not good enough at Pokemon. I literally look at this team and see Blaziken, but I, I don't know what you do with this. But he always picks Ninjask, and he always picks Ditto. I, Those are true statements. I mean, go off, man. I I, it, I, I like Snorlax. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, Regigigas is, like, you know, something you could probably set up around. I don't know how you do it with this as it is. Uh, maybe one of my smarter colleagues can enlighten me there. Yeah, I, um, I think we got to pass this one over to Anthony. Anthony, do, do you see anything? Um, I know in the draft he said he wants to do some baton pass shenanigans, but I, yeah, I, I don't feel like that's really viable. viable at all? This isn't at, as singles. Much. Yeah, this isn't singles. Like, baton pass is not going to get you there in doubles, in my opinion. You know, I, this team. Yeah, like Alex said, it's got a lot of fight, huge fighting weakness. You know, one, two. Hey, that, that ninja ass is going to come in and four times resist you. Watch out. Watch out. And um, die to rocks again. Like, it's the same conversation we but, had at the last rocks, one. Like, but rocks isn't a thing in doubles. That's to be fair. Like, no one's setting up rocks. Like, that's fine. But, like, yeah, just this team is all over the place. Like the Regigigas seems extremely wasted on this team. Like, what are you doing with that? Like, literally 
pick so many different B tiers over that. Um, I like Snorlax. He, lo he loves Ditto. He does pick Ditto every season. Blaziken seems like a rough S tier too. Like, uh, yeah. I'm not impressed. It, it needs Blaziken. a lot of support. Yeah, I'm just this team is. Oh, it is rough. It is a rough team. It needs a lot of changes to me. What What do you think, Kevin? Any, any final words on this team? Listen, man, he's got God. He's got the Badoof. Like he's gonna he's gonna wreck us all. You just wait and see. Couple Look at his little cupcake face. Look at that Kevin little cupcake Kevin said it. <laughs> Kevin said it. Beware the Badoof. <laughs> all right. Next up, we got our first team coming up from the minor leagues. The Chicago Scrafty, they they got a little bit of a rain team. Um, I feel like they could have gone harder into it earlier in the draft, but they do have Pelipper, they do have Mantine, who's a swift swimmer, and they do have Floatzel for a physical swift swimmer. I feel like they also got Slowbro and Tentacruel. I feel like that's a lot of water redundancy. Aer Aerodactyl's pretty decent. Um, it's a fast taunt slash tailwind user. Doug Trio can do some things as a fast earthquake um, and arena trap. Uh, what, what do you think, Alex? I'll, I'll, I'll let you take the first one and this one, too. So, wow, thank you so much. Um, uh, It is kind of like a bare bones rain team. Uh, from personal experience, I think that Slowbro is better on some teams. So, like, he's not really, like, my go-to for rain just because he's a water type Pokemon. Um, but Slowbro with Regenerator is really good. I mean, like, but it's doubles. So like, I don't really know how often he's gonna be switching in and out of it. Uh, I like the Aerodactyl, but I don't really think the team has a lot of power behind it at all. Like it's got like defensive options, but Tentacruel's nerve, move full nerf is so, like it's so debilitating. I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's bad. Like it's definitely, it's definitely got some stuff going on. Muck is like a sleeper, like bulky Pokemon that he can throw out there, and Poison's a pretty decent typing nowadays. So like, it's got some good stuff. But uh, overall, I think he can swap it out to make it a little bit like harder hitting. Yeah. What, what are your thoughts, Kevin, on the uh, Scrafties? You you had to face them a couple times in the minors. The Scrafties are overall like, you know, he's a great coach. Uh, I had my issues with him in the minor leagues. He beat me in the in the preseason. Um, and, but um, as far as the team analysis goes, um, I'm curious to see because I kind of can look at his team composition and kind of guess of where he's going but the one thing i want to know is what he plans to do with that mill tank that just seems to kind of be like the random outcast on this squad so i'm trying to figure out exactly what he wants to do with that mill tank um but otherwise i mean aerodactyl mantine they could both set up tailwind so he's got speed control he's got swift swim too doug trio's fast as heck so i mean you know there's there's potential here i feel like what what do you think, Anthony? Holy electric weakness! I'm, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why anyone didn't bring that up yet, but because like even Eric, I, I was going to say that weakness. after you, but but you, you yeah, got it. even Aerodactyl's a weak to electric. You know, uh, I don't want to give away too much because they're my week one opponents, but I'm definitely bringing an electric type. I assure you, like this team is very electric weak. Um, other than that, I, I agree kind of, you know, like others were saying, like this doesn't really have like a heavy hitter to me. Um, it's got, again, it's got some good bones to it. You know, there's, you know, like, you know, like we just talked about tailwinds, there's multiple tailwind setters, there's speed control, there's, you know, some good like kind of support Pokemon here, but like hard hitters, like, Eh, not really. Like again, like the, the team, I think is going to struggle to to kill other teams. Yeah, this team needs. I forget which one gets it, but either Minin or Plusle get Lightning Rod as their hidden ability, and that would not only add that Lightning Rod, but also a very decent like Minin and Plusle get good support like move pool. Um, 
they need that and, and yeah as far as their like artist hitter goes it's definitely float soul who can sword stance and everything but like it's a float soul so it's gonna die to last cannon mm -hmm. moving on we're, we're we're gonna see a lot of rain teams or attempted what water teams <laughs> puddle teams we go through here all right another drizzle teams yeah <laughs> Sprinkles, sprinkles, sprinklers. Teams. Yeah, <laughs> the sprinkliest of teams. Yeah. Oh, it's a little moist in here. Yeah, it's it's not wet. It's just moist. Just moist. Oh. It's just oh. moist. All right. Next, another Chicago team. Another team moving up from the minors. The Chicago Slow Kings. Uh, Kevin, I'll I'll let you uh, start off the analysis here. What what do you think of the Slow Kings team? Oh, uh, we had actually. It uh talked about what he wanted to try to get pick up from the draft like weeks in advance um so just to start with the zapdos gardevoir um combination it kind of works similarly to like Disquick because gardevoir gets telepathy so it's uh completely protected from its uh allies attacks um uh, it's he's got the golem for like um i, I guess it, you in singles you call it you know edge quake but uh I guess in doubles you would call it, I don't know, rock quake or something, because you got the rock slide, you got the earthquake, you got explosion potentially. Um, but uh, I mean, the masquerade it gets intimidate, so I guess there's that. Um, Reg Eyes gets icy wind, I believe, so he's got a little bit of speed control there. Um, my my main thing with it though is that he's got a lot of slow ish kind of heavy hitters but no way to really like abuse them because he doesn't have like trick room like he has to set up a couple icy wins before golem's gonna be out speeding anything so <laughs> that's my that's my only issue with this team otherwise i think uh he his mind was in the right place yeah wh what are your thoughts alex uh i like this team um there's a pretty it's a pretty big rock weakness that I'm seeing, you know, like with Yanmega, Zapdos, Masquerade, the camera up's neutral. My like Gardevoir with Telepathy, that's really cool. I didn't even know that, but um, it itself is like pretty frail on the physical end. Although I'm finding that like, I don't know, it, maybe you guys can like correct me here. Like, I feel like there's a lot more of like a special attack presence in our draft than there is like a physical attack presence. Like the more I look at it, the more I'm worried about getting shadow balled by something that I am just like physically punched, but that being said, I mean, like, it's just better in it. it's yeah. just better in doubles in general because of intimidate. That's fair. If I mean, there like, was a special I, attacking intimidate, we'd probably see more of a balance. <laughs> I mean, like I like this team. Like it's got like decent type coverage all around. Um, but you know, I'm gonna echo you there. Like it is pretty slow, and he does not have a trick room setter. So like Icy when on Reg Ice is like a decent strategy if Reg Ice lives long enough to do it more than once, you know, like because it itself isn't that bulky, but it's not bad. Definitely far I mean, it's from bad. Good, it's got a really good special bulk, but I mean, like, the problem is, is most of the types it's weak to, from, like, you can easily get a physical, like, fighting type on it and, like, ruin it. Yeah. Any, any, any final words on the Slow Kings, Anthony? I think, yeah, they summed it up pretty well. I mean, yeah. yeah. There's things and I, it, there's it, things it's I like. It's definitely, like, a team that doesn't have, like, a huge glare, and, like, oh, this type smashes yeah. this or this is a big weakness i i think this is a pretty solid uh all-around team that that can do you know a, li a little bit of everything um yeah this this team is clearly a tier above some of the other ones we've already talked yeah. about like like it's definitely a good team some things here and here there could be changed but this is yeah. not a team where i'm like oh god what are they gonna do to salvage this this is like oh like i can see where they need to make some changes here and there but other than that it looks good Moving on, we got the Denver Nine Tails. Um, another weather team here. We got the Sun team taking Tangrowth in the S tier, Charizard in the A tier, their Drought user, Nine Tails, Dusclops, Hitmon Lee, Octillery, Victory Bell, Magneton, and Claydol. Uh, I mean, they they got basically, I think, everything. You could want offensively for a Sun team. What, what do you think, Anthony? Yeah, I, I mean, I love 
Nine Tails Charizard, Victory Bell, it's great for the, you know, the sun aspect. Kingrowth is a great Pokemon. Um, there's definitely a few Pokemon in here where I'm like, I don't know why you're here. Um, Dusclops is the most glaring, like, what is this doing on this team, I guess? Um, Claydol's some speed control, but, you know, might be a little bit contradictory if you're trying to use some chlorophyll. Um, so there's definitely a, it, it's a solid sun team, but, you know, there's definitely some questions I have about it. Yeah. I, I mean, other than doing Trick Room, I'd rather have either Imprison Trick Room users or Fast Taunters, like, because I feel like you want to deny Trick Room rather than do yeah. your own with this sort of team. But Yeah, but Clay all doesn't, isn't going to outspeed much, you know what I mean? But Imprison, yeah, will work on the Trick Room. Yeah, ideas, yeah, 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 Imprison would. Uh, Kev yeah. Kevin, what, what do you think about the Ninetales? Uh, I would honestly say it's probably the best structured team we've seen thus far uh, in this analysis. Um, the only issue that I have with it really have that many, it doesn't have that much uh, defense. It's kind of like all out offense. Like if it, if she gets pushed into like, you know, a corner, it's going to be kind of hard to, you know, kind of regain that momentum. But I mean, it's a solid Sun team. Uh, I was going to say the same thing you just said, uh, Boston with, you know, Dustclops and Imprison Trick Room. That way they don't have to worry about playing under Trick Room or anything like that. Tangrowth with Rage Powder and Redirection. Uh, I think it's pretty solid. Just a little, maybe a little bit lacking on the defensive side. Yeah, that's a good oh. point. A Alex, do you have any uh, last words? Uh, no, uh, my whole point was going to be what he just said at the end was that like it just needs a wow, defense. Everyone option. just takes Alex's points, guys. Guys, Alex has all the points. We just keep okay. What? She just I'm wants to think she's here. smart because you're you. Oh my god! Let's just move on. All right, <laughs> Mo moving on. Moving on, we got a fan favorite team here the diamond desert dwellers making their second appearance to the major leagues um that's my Kevin, daddy it's your brother you know yeah the daddy so kick it off oh uh, all right well first and foremost i'd like to express like my anger because he took not one but two of my c tier picks right before i took them um daddy when you watch this you don't need both skarm and pidgeot Please pitch one to me. Like, come on. You don't need that many birds. Um, other than that, um, I do like it. He got Scizor. Uh, just a house in singles or doubles. Um, Gastro's my boy. Alex, you alive? Is everyone alive? Every, everyone's frozen. All right. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Golden rule is. Um, I like uh, I like the Magazone choice here. I think Mesprit's also very solid. But please trade me one of your birds. Give me a bird. Well, you see, here's yeah, the. I got one right here for you. Oh. It's a miracle that you've ever had a friend in your 32 years. I'm not 32 yet. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Alex, Alex, <laughs> Alex, 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 it's okay. Here's why. Here, I understand where my brother's coming from, though, because he understands the golden rule is that bird is the word. So that's why he wants all the birds. Okay. Let me borrow one then. <laughs> no. Negative. All right. I mean, uh, looking at the team, though, I mean, it seems pretty solid. Got a lot of steel, though. I was saying, yeah. my, my one comment is there's quite a bit of fire weakness on this yeah. team. I'm seeing four fire weak Pokemon. <laughs> you know, that but he does have speed like, control, you know, he does. because he, he took does both have birds. Speed control. Sure do. Well, Bastiodon would be neutral to fire, right? Because it's rock. That's fair. No, That's I true. thought it was ground. No, it's no, it's rock. Steel rock. It's steel rock. Oh wow! Yeah, it's a fossil. <laughs> Sorry. 
Sorry, yeah. sorry. Got to give it that four times weakness to fighting. Yeah, obviously. Gotta make Never leave home without it. That's a Pokemon that and is ground. kind of ground <laughs> in fighting. Yep. But uh, the ground is less of a worry. This team has you know with the birds, and then it's got two levitators. So yeah. ground. Then that's the only worry. wide mode too. So earthquake is not really a problem. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah. The Quagsire is kind of superfluous. Like you already got Gastrodon, who's way better in doubles. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I like Flygon. Of course, Scizor is like probably like a top five, maybe even a top three Pokemon in Brilliant Diamond Shine. <laughs> in everything. Yeah, yeah in, <laughs> just in the game in general. Um, Magnezone's definitely interesting because you can put like protect on it and then have like your flygon be able to destroy whatever steals uh it can trap or whatever so with earthquake or you could have gastrodon with um earth power so i mean it, it's got some things going on for sure anthony did, did did you have anything you want you want to say about that before we move on just the fire weakness other than that, I think it was sub. Yeah. Well, we got so many rain teams. He, he probably figures he won't have to go up against much fire. All right, moving on. We got the Dripdale City Dragapult invading into Anthony's division now, moving to the north. Uh, since we had four teams joining the majors, I wanted to put one in each division. So we had to move a couple teams around. Um, I'm happy to, to stop Cole from getting a division title. Sorry, Cole. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we, we, we've been doing it for, for seasons over here in Boston, and Paris helped one time. But uh, <laughs> So we got Suicune, Heatran, Walrein, Electivire, Prugly, Whiskash, Fortress, Swellow, and Skuntank. Kevin, what, what are your thoughts on the Dragapults? Um, well, I mean, I love the Suicune. Uh, I think Suicune is kind of underrated in doubles i think it's kind of slept on a little bit uh but it's got great supporting moves it's got scald snarl tailwind like it's a great support it's bulky water which is always you know which is always great uh and then to kind of back that up he's got electivire with uh you know with with motor drive that can help uh with that uh, with that weakness as well uh heatran um, uh, Heatran's amazing. Just got to figure out how to protect it from uh, Earthquake. And I'm not sure, maybe I'm looking at this wrong, but am I seeing, am I missing something? Do, is anything on this squad get wide guard? I don't, I think, don't think so. so. I, I can check that for you real quick while, while you're doing your, your thing. Um, but I mean, probably it's Progly's cool. It provides fake out pressure. Um, uh, Swallow can be an, um, an amazing special sweeper in doubles uh, with like boom burst and things like that. Um, but I would say no, not, nothing here gets Wygard. Wygard doesn't have a very yeah large distribution anyway. Yes. Yeah. But I mean, I don't see any like immediate glaring weaknesses with this team. It seems pretty balanced. Just maybe the three, uh, the three waters, um, I guess. But I mean, there's not that much, that many. That's not there's not that much grass that's actually like r truly threatening unless it's on a sun team. So maybe they'll you know be able to deal with that fine. And the wall ring can threaten grass back. Yeah, it's neutral. That's you got it no, it's, it's not neutral. Well. It's not neutral. It's weak, but it's ice type, oh. so it can yeah. threaten. I thought ice resisted for some reason. Nope. Ice resists nothing but itself. Oh, ice forget stopped. me. Shitty Just put me in the trash. <laughs> All right. So, so at Alex, what, what, what do you, what do you think about this team? I, I mean, like, I think it's solid. You know, I, I just, I, I'm a fanboy for Heatran. Um, I do like that he took Skun Tank. I like that some of our teams are like taking repeats. It's kind of cool, but um, yeah, no, that's it. Cole loves Swallow and Perugly. He took Swallow and Perugly last season too. 
Yeah, yeah he did. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know if I like Swallow in, in doubles, especially because um, technically no Boom Burst is a, a legal move in BDSP because there's no legit way to get it. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, if you see somebody with a Boom Burst Swallow, it's, it's hacked. So. Not, not in my league. But, uh, oh yeah. Um, any, any, any last thoughts, Anthony, for the Dragon Ball? Uh, no, I mean, I definitely love Suicune. Um, a lot of bulk on this team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, again, like, this is another team where I'm like, what is your big, like, heavy hitter, though? Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Electivire, maybe? Like, I, out, I will say, though, outside of, like, you know, yeah, Suicune's bulky, and you can like calm mine with it. But outside oh, of mine, Grand, you know that this is a very physical team. Mm, that's true. You know, like mo most of these Pokemon want to hit on the physical side, and I, I don't really know what Fortress does here either. So, so that's like a question pick for me. I don't really know what it does in a. Belt disrupts. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, explodes or, I think I think it's Gyro Ball. So maybe we can do some stuff. All right, Alex, take it away. Uh, <laughs> well, as I consistently say in our Discord, I am not great at doubles. So um, I had seen some VGC videos for doubles, was trying to pick a team based around said teams, and I came out with this. Um, it could have been worse. Uh, I think Arcanine is just badass. And... Uh, I don't know. I thought that like somebody would be cheeky with sun and grass types are kind of limited. I mean, I don't really know if I needed to double up with Torterra and Exeggutor, but um, I do like the Exeggutor in doubles. I think it's underratedly strong. Uh, Miss Magus is fun. Uh, I took it because I figured that like, you know, there wasn't really a lot of like wide guards, so it has access to a lot of moves that spray. Plus, Vaporeon also gets muddy water, so that was another thing for me. I don't know. You guys tell me what I did wrong, and uh, I guess we'll just go from there. All right, Anthony, tell, tell him what he did wrong. Oh, my pleasure. No. Um, I mean, there are definitely pieces I like with this team. Again, like Arcanine, you know, Executor. You know, I think Victorian's fine. Um... I, yeah, speed control is huge here. Um, I think you don't have a lot of speed on this team, like, at all. Um, I do have a lot of trick room users. Do, do. I mean, like, I don't really want to uh, talk about it that much because my week one opponent tomorrow is literally here. Um, I'm not going to do that to you, Mr. Dusk Noir Torkel. But, um, <laughs> you know, like, it's something that I've thought about against other teams. Yeah. Does, Again, uh, I, I, Executor doesn't get rage powder, right? It just gets sleep powder. Correct. Yikes. Yeah, I mean, Miss Magius is like your best trick room setter just because it's fake out immune. Mm -hmm. I mean, Executor can do it too, but like it'd be real nice if you had like a redirector with the Miss Magius to kind of get that guaranteed. Mm hmm. Having the fake out muty in a redirection, um, or even just like a tailwind user could go a long way. People well, doesn't get icy wind this. Cordaddy, right? No, it does not. <laughs> yeah, no, it does not. I mean, Mammoth Swine gets it, but I feel like if you're using icy wind with your Mammoth Swine, you're you're doing it wrong. Yeah. You're doing it wrong. Like, yeah, th th this team wants a trick room real bad and. If they disrupt that, you're pretty fucked. Yeah, and you you don't have any fake out users either to kind of like sash your Miss Magius and fake out one of their things to guarantee it to live. I don't know. I mean, we'll see how it goes. Like like Anthony said, you there's definitely a lot of pieces, but I, I can see how a lot of teams can just like double attack like b before this team can move. Um. I do believe Torterra gets wide guard though. So there's that. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That'd do. Speaking of our limited distribution of wide guard. 
All right, moving on. The New York Yankees, um, another somewhat of a rain team. Uh, this team is pretty unique though because they didn't get one of the oh, automatic rain setters. setters. Yeah, and they don't have one of the prankster setters either. So, I mean, obviously, Rain Dance has a pretty wide distribution, so you never know what Pokemon on this team might have it. But they also have five water types. But they have a lot of fake out too. You see one, two, three, four fake out users on here. Mm -hmm. um, Polyrath is a good setup sweeper with Belly Drum. Um, they also Moody got Cole. three Swift Swimmers. Three yeah. Swift Swimmers. Like that's four. Even four. Four. Oh yeah, four. Two. Oh, I always forget about Quillfish. Um, he's I got Seaweed Rod. Um, if if he's afraid of like direct electric attacks can all, can bring sea king um it's an interesting team uh kevin do, do you have any thoughts on the mankeys i mean if i had to take a wild guess i'm gonna guess that the rain dance is probably gonna be coming from the persian because it's the fastest thing on his team and i believe persian gets rain dance yeah so that would be Almost my everything thing. gets rain dance yeah <laughs> somebody thinks they rain dance but uh the only thing that I could think of, uh, I mean, outside of, I mean, yeah, you're right. Sea King gets lightning rod, but you know, get rid of the Sea King. But um, I think the only thing that you know this thing is missing um, would probably be just maybe some, uh, and maybe I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if anything on the squad gets redirection, but if not, I think that would really help out the Polyrath to do what it wants to do. Nothing gets redirection. I don't think yeah. on this team. Yeah, no, nothing gets redirection here. Um, yeah, I think, I don't think anyone took Pachirisu in the A tier. Pachirisu would be pretty nice on this team, having a Volt Absorb and Follow Me. Um, mm -hmm. Pachirisu would be an interesting S pickup here, here. especially when Kangaskhan sort of thing is just as a really strong fake out user. Um, you know, in a in a pretty decent speed tier. So, like, Kangaskhan's like good offense Pokemon, but when you're running a rain team, like you got offensive options already. So yeah. I, I could see that being a pretty easy swap out. Um, but yeah, uh, Quillfish gives them dual utility as an Intimidator. Hitmonchan gets a lot of, you know, coverage moves plus utility moves. Um, I think it gets Helping Hand this generation. I could be wrong. I know Hitmon Top does, but they're kind of weird this generation with stuff um not really sure what hypno is gonna do don't know what hypno is gonna do but yeah per persian gets some decent utility moves loses icy win this generation which kind of stinks um that was kind of like one of persian's only useful things especially a lowland persian uh Amistar with mm. shell smash is great so I, th I think this team good. is like close to being the rain team that we can feel threatened by um, compared to some of the other rain teams. Uh, Anthony, did, did you have any any other thoughts? I mean, nah, I just, yeah. Again, it, there's a lot of Swift Swim on the team, a lot of speed. If you can get the rain up, then that's gonna be the biggest problem, hurdle for this team is like, can you get the rain up? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. Um, if they're able to do that the first couple of weeks and then if they decide to make changes following that. All right, next up, we got the Oklahoma Thunderous. Um, th this is like another one of those just kind of like good stuff pick them teams. So we got Azumarill, Salamence, Lucario, which I think is a great utility pick, Manetric, Nidoqueen, Blossom. Lopany, Altaria, and Houndoom. Alex, any thoughts on the uh, Thunderous? Uh, I like his team, honestly. Uh, I think he does a pretty good job, like, every season, collectively. Uh, I wanted Salamence for A tier, but he sniped it from me, so good on you, dude. Uh, but no, I think his team is pretty solid. He's got Cloud9, Altaria for, like, all the weather teams we're going to see. I'm not crazy all about Altaria this gen. Cloud Nine's great, but like that was one thing I was looking at in the single season where like its move pool is 
dog shit. <laughs> that's like it, it's such a common problem in so I many know. Pokemon. I, I don't game. mind like, Altaria's move. Just well, you, you don't like it? No. I mean, it gets I fire, don't. ice, dragon, fairy. Like I don't Those know. All... Correct me if I'm wrong. Add, if you have fire, ice, and dragon, that that's pretty decent. Correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't Altaria in BDSP also get Draco Meteor Power Swap? Probably. That sounds like something Oklahoma would do. That does sound like something Oklahoma would do. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that because Power Swap is a uh, egg move. So I'm just saying that could also be something to look okay. out for. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Altaria can, as Cotton Guard, so it can become pretty bulky if you have like Cotton Guard, Roost, and then you just like stick around for forever, it gets Parish Song, so. I think the thing, I think I'm remembering now is because like it didn't get like, I think like Dragon Dance or something like that. There was something I was looking for last season where it didn't get it this gen. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't get it. And Dragon. I was like, meh. <laughs> yeah, so that, that kind of hurts. It's like Earthquake and mix sets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, but yeah. Um, I will say the, uh, I mean, Azumarill is a great Pokemon, but without Trick Room, it, is it really being used? You took the words well? out of my mouth. You took the words right out of my mouth. That was my first thought about this team is like Azumarill, amazing Pokemon. You need Trick Room. There's no Trick Room. Like that is a, feels like a wasted S tier on this team. Yeah, I mean, you could you could do like Choice Band, Aqua Jet, sure, but like, eh. Yeah, you're still only going so far with that. Yeah. Like, you're not like, going to be one-shotting the stuff that you need to? Nah, I mean, you want to be belly drumming Azumarill, and yeah. this is just not the team for a belly drum Azumarill. Yeah. I mean... Sa Salamence is great as a offensive intimidator, so it gets, like, utility from mm -hmm. that. Um, Lucario just gets so many different tools this generation. Follow me and helping hand and, you know, priority moves and... All, all that good stuff. There was something else that got that I thought was pretty interesting. Um, let's move pool real quick. It gets so many things. Lucario is ridiculous. Of course, this is the generation it came out in, so. Yeah, maybe it was just more so the, the follow me sort of stuff, but. I mean, you can also set up with it with Nasty Plot or Sword Stance. Like, there's just a lot of stuff you can do. Mm -hmm. Pro probably like a crazy good B tier, to be honest, based on the utility. And uh, inner focus means you can't like try to flinch it out. Or Stead Steadfast too to give it a speed boost if you don't mind if it flinches one turn. But um, yeah, overall solid team. I would just like a. Uh, Trick Room user. And I, I, I feel like Oklahoma stole this Manetric from all the wannabe rain teams who, who would really like that premier lightning yeah. rod user. Uh, he's not the only one. They're not the only ones that he stole something from, by the way. I got a bone to pick with Oklahoma because I was banking on no one else wanting Blossom and he just took Blossom as his first C pick. Yeah. Yeah, kind of an aggressive first C pick, right? Like what what what's Blossom doing um with this team? But may, maybe he just wanted some sleep stuff and that was just the best available. All right, next up we got Paris Saint Germain. Um another sand team, but this one not going as hard as Black City. Uh Kevin Kevin, what are your thoughts on PSG? Uh well, right off the bat, um, I mean, I mean, you can do some pretty silly shenanigans with uh, uh, Garchomp, especially if there's like no evasion clause or eva or no like, you know, if evasion boosting items aren't banned, you can do some pretty cheeky stuff with that. Um, Tauros and Al Bright Powder, yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty uh, pretty silly shenanigans there. Uh, I love Tauros as an intimidator. Um, you can uh, 
I mean, it's a, you can also use it as like a mixed attacker with like, you know, rock climb, fire blast, you know, things like that. Um, I'm not too sure about Meganium's applications and doubles. I might just be a scrub that doesn't understand, but um, I'm not sure exactly what to expect from Meganium. Um, I, I like Rotom Frost and Starmie. I think those are solid. But, um, I mean, I think overall, it's not, it seems like it's a solid team. It just doesn't, like, outside of, like, Garchomp and Hippowdon, there's not really a whole lot of, like, sand element to it. So I don't know if it's really a dedicated sand team or... No, I, I wouldn't call it dedicated. I think it's, you know, Garchomp is obviously what they're building around. So you put mm. a pout on on there, so you get your sand veil and... With Rotom Frost, that gives them a pretty good Disquake combo. Yep. So you can, uh, you know, Earthquake with Garchomp, and then if you Scarf Rotom Frost, you should be getting off both of your attacks before the majority of your opponent's Pokemon can do things. True. Um, we can call this thing a Sand Team just because of the Powdon, and I wouldn't care, but if we look at it as a Sand Team, I still think it's better than Black City. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, Gar Garchomp will do that. <laughs> I mean, I just think it would look better as a Sand Team because he has more coverage. Yeah. Like, yeah. as a whole, I look at this like, like this would just be a better Sand Team to me, even though Black City's so on brand for what Sand Teams would be. Yeah. Um, kind of echoing what Kevin said, though. I mean, with Meganium, like, as oh, a form your own opinions. I said echoing, I, not that's oh, what that's I said, my, though. my opinion, so I'm not going to elaborate. Blah, blah, um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, other than kind of just doing, uh, you know, dual screens and maybe some aromatherapy stuff to heal any sleeping members in your party. Anthony, do, do you see anything? I mean, you use Meganium in singles. Do you see anything it can do in doubles that's out of the order? I mean, I... I mostly use Meganium as a screen setter in singles, so yeah, yeah that's about all you Well, that's what I would think, and then, like I said, like, use aromatherapy, so like, oh, if you sleep one of my guys and I gotta swap it out, then I can wake it back yeah, up. Yeah, it, it, it can kind of do some clarity stuff, but yeah, other than that, I don't think yeah. it's very good. I mean, it gets bleach C, but that's better in singles. Yeah, <laughs> and the, the C tiers to me are all just pretty, like... I picked Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, like... Not, none of them really, like, Dugong gets some, like, priority moves this generation, but, I mean, it's a Dugong. And Dunsparce, I don't even think, gets, uh, like... To be fair, I convinced him to take Dunsparce. Oh, um, did you? That's <laughs> Joe. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't even get Headbutt. Oh, no, it does get Headbutt. Never mind. Headbutt's kind of, like, the main thing you use for that, so... Egg move. But I mean, let's yeah. face it, that Dunsparce is not coming to any games. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, you're right. All right, Kevin, talk to us about the primals. The number one pick. The number one pick. Um, so I, I was kind of torn with my S tier pick. I was torn between three. It was either going to be Cresselia, Hitmontop, or Togekiss. I ultimately went with Togekiss just because I felt like with what I was planning this team to Anthony be about... Anthony and I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, I just felt like uh, Togekiss providing, like, you know, redirection. It's, you know, it's got some it's got some punch to it, you know, with uh, Superluck and, you know, Scopeland shenanigans. Yeah. So with, it's definitely not a bad pick. Don't worry. About no, like, yeah, it's definitely like a top five. Like, no <laughs> yeah, one was yeah. questioning you when you took that, unlike some other previous first picks we've had in the society history. Um, and then I wanted uh, I wanted Torkoal and Dusknor just because, I mean, I feel like that's obvious reasons. Uh, um, uh, Torkoal's an amazing trick room sleeper. Um, I'll be honest with you, Driftblim was literally my my, like, fifth option for like setting up Tailwind, but literally everyone else took all the other Tailwind options, so I had to go with Triflim instead. And that's just there to support Metacham. <laughs> um, 
Stantler was the best remaining Intimidate user that was left. And that with uh, skill swap, you can just keep repeatedly intimidating. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Um, Steelix, just because uh, it's a decent trick room sweeper with Earthquake and Gyroball. Uh, Vigoroth has kind of been the meme. Uh, because I didn't want Vigoroth, I wanted Blossom, but Vigoroth was the fastest after uh, after me user that was left, so that I went with it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's kind of more or less, you know, my thought processes and what I was hoping that this team would sort of look like. Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, you know, Trick Trick Room seems to be a big part of what you got going on with Torkoal and you, you kind of mentioned Steelix if Steelix can get like a couple curses off that would mm -hmm. like be huge for it um obviously you gotta watch out for we kind of mentioned earlier all the special attackers going around um I mean we'll see if Metacham can do what it did for you in singles but uh I got something spicy we'll see if it works <laughs> yeah a a Anthony any any thoughts on the primals I like this team a lot. Uh, definitely very, yeah, like I said, very heavy on the trick room needs. Um, but other than that, uh, I, I like it a lot. Yeah. Uh, Alex, do you have any last words for the primals? See you tomorrow, man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I ain't telling you what's good or bad. Figure it out. All right, moving on. Anthony, take it away. The Pittsburgh Colty Geist. The sexiest team in the league. Uh, I say. Can, can, can I just say uh, that before you go through it? Anthony, you, you could have had like the Wombo Combo Cresselia Torkoal core here. Like it, it was there for you. You could have had it. Could have. I, well, as anyone who had watched the draft knew, I actually did not think I would get Cresselia. I had a different first pick in mind. I'm like, I'm 12. I'm going to pick my feet here first. I, I was building my team around Murkrow. So I'm like, I'm going to pick Murkrow first. Like, I'm going to guarantee I get it. And we're going to go into this. And then it got to the 12th pick and no one picked Cresselia. So I was like, well, I guess I'm picking Cresselia because I can't let this go. Um, so uh, I, like, I like to think my team is very balanced. Um, you know, I've kind of got... You know, again, my original plan was to build around Prankster Tail, and does, that's just what I do in double seasons every season because, you know, it's my bread and butter and I love it. Uh, so Murkrow is the best tr Prankster Tail, and uh, Cresselia doesn't have a bad speed. Um, so I could run it as a Trick Room, you know, setter, or I can run it as, you know, as is and, you know, Calm Mind setup. Um, Infernape is an extremely versatile Pokemon. You can do, you know, Choice Band Iron Fist, you can do. Um, fake out, heat wave, uh, U-turn, you know, like various other kind of, um, you know, tech moves. Um, I wanted Porygon Z for a heavy hitter. Empoleon, too, um, can hit pretty hard while also, you know, having some good type coverage. Um, Rampardos and Swamper aren't both too bad in the speed tier. So if I choose to use, you know, a Trick Room setup, I can easily, you know, bring them in for trick room sweepers or you know with a tailwind up they're gonna get pretty you know they can outspeed some stuff too and hit pretty hard uh rampardos especially with like rock slide things like that um and rotom i won an electric type and it was the hardest thing electric type on the c tier that it was left yeah i mean kind of kind of sorry sorry alex echoing what, what you said uh your team because of Cresselia Murkrow, you can switch your speed priorities however you kind of want, which will make it kind of tough mm -hmm. for people to kind of plan around in the battle prep because they don't know, like, oh, is he going to bring a Trick Room version of his team bulkier but slower, or is he going to bring a Tailwind just more offensive? You know, so that'll be interesting. Alex, what, what do you think of the Poltegeist? Well, I, uh, I mean... I don't know. I think in a past life, he must have, like, killed a puppy or something. Oh, you meant, like, Pokemon team-wise? I mean, it's all right, I guess. I would never kill a puppy. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> a cat, absolutely. But a puppy, Jesus no. Christ. You know, that's how they identify, like, serial killers, okay? Like, 
Oh, I wouldn't know anything about that. It's not like I'm a mental health professional or anything. Yeah. What, what, what are the odds called? there's two serial killers on this podcast right now? Come on, guys. Um, no, I like his team, though. Um, I kind of wanted Empoleon, but he, he sniped it from me first. Uh, but yeah, Empoleon's an interesting one. I mean, it, it's like you said, he can go either way, whether he wants to set up Tailwind or Trick Room. I know personally, when he plays against me, he's probably going to run something with Imprison. So, I mean, you know, I'll figure that out in a week. Uh, probably not. No, I, I, I do like it. Um, the only Pokemon that, like, I just... I, I don't really agree with is the Glaceon because I don't really know what you need it for, but I know you picked that, that's Kevin, an, that's so an like, homage. It was, it was a, a homage to my fiance who loved his Glaceon, who smoke showed you with it that season. Right. It was solid. absolutely Kevin who played that against me a hundred percent. But I, I'm, I'm not hating the Glaceon pick. Freeze dry is a commodity and it has a super- is great crazy uh you know special attack stat like in in the right circumstances it's great it's, it's great in tailwind it's great in tailwind it's fine yeah it, it can it's a, another pokemon that like oh it's just slow enough to be fast in tailwind and slow in trick room uh kevin any last words for the poltergeist uh yeah first of all uh pittsburgh sorry to say but uh you just lost any chance of getting invited over to my place because I have three cats. And I don't need them, any of them going missing under mysterious circumstances. Uh, but as far as the team goes, uh, I I'll actually love it somehow. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, but no, uh, like I play Yu-Gi-Oh! and what what um, Boston are kind of and you what, admitted that you just like, I freely admitted it, like no no flinch or anything. Good for you, man. Oh. Hey, hey, you know what? I Get don't know. <laughs> but you kind of call that strategy a, uh, a kind of like a smoke screen, like uh, where you'll play one deck, but then games two and three, you'll side out and play a completely different deck. That's kind of a similar situation here with like the whole, you know, is he going to play Tailwind? Is he going to play Trick Room? Like it, there's no way to really prepare because you don't know what to expect. And by the time you do figure it out, it's too late. So I do love that aspect on this team. So I got to give it, you know, the uh, the Phoenix thumbs up, I guess. The, the, the Phoenix thumbs up. All right. A yes. couple, couple more, guys. The Tokyo Togekiss. Um, so this team seemed like they wanted to go rain at the start, but then everyone else picked rain. And then they never really, like, they just picked But they water. kept picking water types. Yeah. <laughs> so we got Kingdra, Milotic. Blastoise, Lapras, Spiritomb, Chansey, Agron, Luminion, and Grumpeg. Alex, what, what what do you think about Tokyo? I want to know why Tokyo picks Grumpig as often as she does. Yo, you. Uh, she wants the redemption arc. Grumpig did literal nothing last season and went to every game and just died. It didn't get a KO yeah all season so th this is the redemption arc it's gonna get one ko this season i'm calling it i'll put money on it it's got i mean i hope that's animation. <laughs> i hope that's true um i mean we talked about another rain team uh we talked about new york's rain team how like the biggest struggle would be to like set up the rain i feel like this team also has that issue uh I also don't really and think it's this not team... as good <laughs> yeah it doesn't really have the same type coverage um, I like Milotic, like, as a doubles Pokemon. I think that's strong if it either, like, if it's got, like, what's the ability called? Marble Not rivalry. Scale. Yeah. Competitive. Or, yeah, like, either of them are, like, really yeah, strong. I mean, a, King, a Kingdra is a Kingdra. So, I mean, like, that, that is what it is. But it's just, like... But a Kingdra uh, not in the rain. That's what that's I'm saying. You know, Kingdra. like if she can't get the at rain someone up. Someone with then, a rain you know, team last season, Kingdra is balls without the rain. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, this. It's also balls when it's paralyzed all the time. This with team the... could be better. You know, I mean, like it's definitely not the worst that we've looked at, but like I, I don't. Yeah. I, I don't know how it gets off the ground, you know? I like um, Spiritomb. I like yeah. Spiritomb. Spiritomb is a bulky Pokemon in this format because there's just not a lot of fairy types going around. And it uh, gets a lot of utility moves with Snarl and Will-O-Wisp and all that. Um, mm -hmm. So I like Spiritomb. 
Um, again, I like what ha what you said, Alex, with Milotic. Blastoise can do a lot of utility. I like Blastoise. And also be a Shell Smash user. Like, it gets Fake Out, it gets Yawn. So, depending on how you kind of want, want to run it from week to week. But then after that, I feel like the team starts to flail around a little bit. Uh, Kevin, did you have any thoughts? Uh... It's kind of the same thing that we kind of said about some of the other rain teams, just the glaring electric weakness with no way to really compensate for it. Yeah. And this one has no immunities for it either. No. I was going to say, yeah, the difference between that, this and New it. York is like Ludicolo resists both grass and electric. Quillfish resists grass. You know what I mean? Like there are Pokemon on that team that like resisted some of those common weaknesses. This team is like straight up. If you bring an electric or grass type, like you're fucking up most of these Pokemon. Even Agron's weak to water, like, mm. and, and uh. yeah. So, um, need some work. I, if I were them, I would probably drop the whole sort of rain thing at the top end. Like, I, I, I think they were trying to go rain, and then they realized so many other people go rain. They're like, okay, I need to like get away from that. But at the same time, I've already picked a couple things, so I need to also kind of stay with it. But like, I feel like they got in a weird spot, right? Mm -hmm. And that can kind of happen when you're in the middle of the draft, you because people do stuff before and after you, you know? And so I, I think as free agency comes, we could see them change like a bit more. But I think they got in this weird spot because like Anthony said earlier in the podcast, like three teams in a row were just like, oh, rain? Oh, you pick rain, I'll pick rain. Oh, you pick rain, I'll pick rain. All right, last team, the Vero Beach Volcarona. Uh, this is a spicy team. I, I like this team. We got Latios in the S tier, Weezing in the A tier, Azel, Slacking, and Weavile in the B tier, Golduck, Sceptile, Shuckle, and Regirock rounding out the C tiers. Anthony, what, what do you think about the Volcarona? I mean, I have to start off with the obvious. We don't fuckle with Shuckle, but, you know... Other than that, um, I love that they have the Weezing Slaking combo for neutralizing gas. I mean, that's a great start for this team. Latios hits like a fucking truck, so Latios is great. A lot of heavy hitters, as I'll flee by Latios, all hit really, really hard. Um, does bring the bulk with like Shuckle, Slaking, Regirock as well. Um, so, and Weezing, obviously. So, there is some good, you know, and obviously Weezing's a good utility, Will O Wisp, you know. Um, again, just the neutralizing gas in itself is great. Um, so yeah, I really like this team. I think it's it's one of the better like non weather like teams. I think it, they've got a good setup here. Yeah, Kevin, do you have, do you have any thoughts on the Volcarona? Uh, basically, everything he just said. But I do want to add one thing to that. Uh, the Golduck gets uh, Cloud9 also. Cloud9, so, yes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, another potential way to stop the weather from being an issue on top of Weezing, so. Yeah, true. Yeah, you, they got a couple ways to kind of counteract that weather. I mean, Weezing's just such a fun Pokemon double since they introduced Neutralizing Gas. Like, and by, I, I say fun as like a competitive side because you're, you know, you gotta think around it and think, okay, without abilities, what what does your team do, and what does their team do? So it'll be it'll be interesting, but I, I think this is a very solid team overall. Um, we'll have to see how it kind of goes out. Um, Latios is really their only speed control. I mean, I guess you could like this team wants Tailwind, right? You don't want to do Trick Room with this team. No, that, that means Latios is your Tailwind setter. Mm -hmm. so I could see that as a thing, but because Lyos is fast, but it's not the fastest. Um, Azelf's pretty fast, though, but it's frail. So Extremely frail. Yeah, so that's the only thing that I could see, but they, they do have a fake out in Weavile. I could maybe like, like one more fake out user. But overall, should be pretty interesting. Um, they could also put, uh, I think Weavile does get Icy Wind in this generation. Yeah, it does. So, as a fast... A little bit of speed control um, there, yeah. yeah. As a fast Icy Winder, you know, it, it's not awful. 
to do that either. All right. Just frail. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're just hoping to get that off and then die and get in your things that'll outspeed that. All right. Time to rank these. Um, I guess we'll go in alphabetical order again. So starting off with the Black Sea Zekrom, if you guys want me to pull the team back up, just let me know. But this was our first sand team that we talked about. Tarantar, Cordilli, Blisscorn, mm -hmm. Needle King, Registeel, Sand Slash. There's a lot of ground and rock types. So I'm going to let each of you kind of say where you would put it. And as long as, you know, you guys can kind of agree, I'll, I'll, I'll stay out of it. But uh, Kevin, where would you put Black City? And what's your kind of reasoning for it? Um, I would pro if I were to put it anywhere, I'd probably put it in like a low C, uh, just because of the glaring water weakness. And I don't think uh, Cradilly is quite enough to, on its own to overcome that weakness as a whole. Um, but then you like, got Parasect. But does Rage Powder stop Surf, though? <laughs> no, but it, it still has Dry Skin. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but that's, that's where I, I would put I think he need. I, I think they would need to maybe make some adjustments to make Water less of a, you know, less of their Achilles heel. But that's just me. Hmm. To be oh. All right. Fearless so you're, leader. you're kind of thinking the same thing, right, Anthony? I saw you kind of holding up. You'll see around yeah. yeah, this team would, to me was like textbook, like exactly, you know, as uh, Kevin said, you know, low C, honestly. Like, there's, it, I don't want to put it in D because there's enough that, like, there that's, like, solid, but they, it need, they need to make some major changes for this to be, like, a good team. So, you know. C. The textbook C to me. Did did you want to echo that, Alex, or did you want to make a case for anything crazier? Un unfortunately, I can't make a case for a team just because I think the Pokemon in it look cool. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's it's a low C tier for me. All right, next up we got the Boston Braviaries. So this team: Hitmontop, Fable, Roserade. I don't remember what's on my own goddamn team. Frostlass? <laughs> yeah, Frostlass, hey, Frostlass, Icy Wind, Mr. Fake Mime, out. I think you got Mr. Mime. Yeah. Yep, Mr. Mime, again, Fake Out, Icy Wind, Wide Go. Flareon. Flareon, yep. Why don't Flareon? Why do we know your team better than you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm uh, looking at it, so. Again. I'm not. <laughs> oh, yeah, Staraptor and Kecleon. So, uh, Alex, where, where would you put Boston? Um... I, I'd put you in B tier, man. I don't really. I mean, I think Hitmontop with Fable is just enough to like, you know, warrant that on its own. Uh, I, you've got a lot of options here. Like, I, I would put it in B tier. I'm definitely more afraid of this than I am of like the team of Ground Boys. Um, uh, are you gonna echo that, Kevin? Where 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 would you put Boston? Um. I would I would say uh, high B low A so kind of sort of but I I think that the the team has potential to be A tier. Um, I I think I have, I think I might have a little bit more faith in the Hitmon Top Clefable core than Alex does, but I would say B or A tier, high B low A. All right, and what what do you think, Anthony? B B or A, or do you want to go somewhere crazy? Uh, I was honestly gonna say it's an A. You know, honestly, to me, this team. You, like we've talked, you know where your weaknesses lie on this team, but like the utility of this team is really huge, and that's like what usually puts it in a. Why you usually make like an S tier team? Like this to me is definitely not your best team because it's losing. It has some of those weaknesses. Um, I definitely would say it, to me it was like again, if, if it's if it's a low A, I'd be acceptable of that. Like even high B to me is like a little too low compared to like where I'm where I'm thinking some of these B teams are. Yeah, so we'll, we'll say somewhere like low A, kind of where Kevin kind of said, and then what you're kind of saying, too. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. I, w I will say, guys, 
I want someone else to win this season. I didn't want to draft an S team, but if, if you guys poke the bear and make me change my team around, I'll come at you. All right, next we got the Buffalo Badukes. Okay, I think I know where this is going by Anthony. Why, why, why don't you start this one off? So before the podcast, we discussed if we wanted to have a D tier in this uh, tier list. This is why we have a D tier. <laughs> I feel really bad because we always put the Badukes there. And then they well, somehow then make still get like, a few wins. <laughs> it just just put it in D. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, did, did you want to make any, any uh, other argument? Bro, he's got Badu. Put that shit in S tier. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. Now, now I got his nice. <laughs> Plus the god. <laughs> Can you make Plus another god tier god. and like put him in both, like both D and S? Plus because like uh, he picked god. Badu, he uh, requested god. it. The uh, god. I love it. I'm into it. <laughs> All right, next we got the Chicago Scrappy. So this is one of our rain teams. They had Pelipper, Mantine. Um, what was the other Swift Swimmer? Do you guys remember? They, they oh, Floatzel. Floatzel. Uh, Floatzel. Slowbro. Uh, Aerodactyl. Yeah, Aerodactyl. Uh, Doug Trio. Yep. I know more of their teams because I'm playing them this week. So I'm like, I know mostly. I, can act, I, I should just pull it up on my second screen so I can actually remember all these. Uh, that would be smart. That would that would be planning. But uh, yeah, ten tentacruel mill tank muck. Um, Kevin, where where would you put the scrafties? You're kind of like your mini rival because you faced them a couple times and lost to them in the regular season last year. I mean, there was some shenanigans that went with that, I think. But yes, um, I would. I'd probably put them in B tier. Um, that's but that's just me. Um, I don't really have too much to say that I didn't already say in the team analysis, so. Well, what do you think, Anthony? Are you gonna uh, to me, this is the same problem as the Zekroms. Uh, it's, it's a better weather with, with rain over sand, but there's just so many glaring weaknesses to the same types that, like, what's your Doug Trio going to save you from your electric weakness? Like, eh. <laughs> Not really. So to me, this is this is just another C team to me. Like I think they need to make a lot of changes for this to be solid. Are you going to echo that, uh, Alex, or do you think they're higher up, like B, like Kevin was saying? Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, like it's if it's a B tier team, it's a low B tier team. You know, like low B uh, or high C. I mean, I think it's better than the Zekrom's team just because there's some of the Pokemon on it, but like, I don't know. It doesn't really get off the ground for me, even though like he's got like the best rain setter. It's just like, it just doesn't do enough for me. I'm gonna, it, low B I'm okay with, or like in the C tier, but it's not much better than that. All right, as it so is. I'll, I'll make the call here. Cause it seems like, you know, Kevin's B, Anthony's C, Alex is kind of like being a baby and not making a decision. <laughs> Put it, put it in B, okay? Like, I don't even know these dudes, but like, you know. I, I, I was gonna say, just cause it's rain, if I had to pick between the two, I would I would put in B, but, but we'll see. Maybe we'll move it down. Maybe B will get too crowded. All right, next we I got- I mean, like, if we're comparing it to the other rain team, even though they don't have a rain setter, like, I still like that rain team more. Like, yeah. that's my kind of argument. Yeah, no, I agree with you. Uh. Like I said, I might move it down, but let, let, let's see what else goes there. Like, I agree with everything you said, Anthony. Oh, thanks, Ryan. Yeah. All right. You know, son? There. I, I, I said I agreed with everything, so I got to agree with it being seat here. All right. Next, we got the Chicago Slow Kings. Um, this was a very well-rounded team. Zapdos, Telepathy with Gardevoir, Heracross, Ganmega, Camera Up, Masquerin. A lot of bug types. But uh, Golem, Regice, and Probopass. So kind of also like slow and Gardevoir is your only trick room user, which you don't really want to use the uh, Gardevoir for. So no. Al Alex, what do you think about uh, the Slow Kings? I don't know. Based off the plan that Kevin laid out earlier, it 
seems a lot more solid to me than it did when I was initially looking at it. Um, I mean, like, this is a high B tier team to me, at least. I mean, he's got like speed control options and again, the telepathy. He's got intimidate with masquerade. Like, this is a high B, low A tier team in my mind. Yeah. What, what do you think, Anthony? Uh, B was where I had it in my head. So I'm fine with B. You want to make any uh, crazy changes to that, Kevin? I don't want to sound biased because I help him make, like, help him, like, with... Completely him. biased, irrelevant, throw it out. Yep, there you go. Um, but, I mean, I think it's solid, but you are correct um, with the fact that I think the team would really benefit from a Trick Room user um, and having just a little bit more speed control than just Reg Eyes. So, I would say B, uh, B tier. Yeah, I, I think that's the one thing that can really pull it all together is a good trick room user opens up like camera up like camera up can hit pretty hard with eruption and everything. It just it, it needs to attack first. And we've had a lot of B teams, B tier teams move up, you know, over oh, the yeah. years. Yeah, because you if you're B tier, you're like, they're... oh, yeah, a couple little things or, you know, the right strategy. Yeah. Some changes here and there easy going up yeah. in tier. Yeah, B tier is never a bad place to be. You know, Bs get degrees, too. All right, next we got the Denver Nine Tails. These aren't alphabetical. There we go. Um, the Sun Team of the draft. So we got Tangrowth, Charizard, Nine Tails, Victory Bell making up that sort of Sun Core. Then you got Dusclops, Hitmonlee, Octillery, Magneton, and Clade also. Definitely a couple you know, quote unquote questionable, or, you know, like, oh, I could see these being swapped out choices, but uh, overall, what, what do you think, Anthony? Uh, if not low S, high A, I think. They have a solid enough team where it would definitely, I would want them at the top of the A tiers, I think, where they're sitting. Um, like I said, you said, there's those, there's those few pieces where I'm like, I don't know why this is on the team, but other than that, like, I think it is, it definitely doesn't need to change a lot to be an extremely good team. Like, if, if we put, don't put it in S tier, like, one change will make it an S tier team. One or two changes, easily. What, what are your thoughts, Kevin? Um, Easily A tier for me. The only things that are preventing me from saying S tier is the, uh, like I said, the last, lack of defensive core, but also the fact that the, the way the team is set up it also is kind of predictable. Uh, just some of the choices are, uh, some of the other choices that don't revolve around the sun are lackluster. So it's, it, it, it you can kind of prepare for what she's going to bring. So yeah, I'll, if you disrupt the that, sun, that makes sense. But, yeah. But with that being said, still a very solid sun team. I got to give it an A. Yeah. Did you want to make any uh, bold claims, Alex? No, no, that's an A-tier team for me. I mean, like, I, I too would like to see more defensive options, but, like, at the same time, like, I, I don't know. Like, Latias was an A-tier also, so, like, that's, like, the only other defensive Pokemon that immediately pops to my mind. And looking at this, I'd rather have Charizard, so that's an A-tier team for me. All right, next we got the Diamond Desert Dwellers. Kevin, what, what are your thoughts on your brother's team here? You got Scizor, Gastrodon, Flygon, Magnezone, Mesprit, Basiodon, Skarmory, Quagsire, and Pidgeot to remind everybody, where, where are we slotting, Chris? Um, uh, this is going to pain me to say it, and I hope he proves me wrong, but I, but I see a lot of the same types on his team, so that means a lot of the same weaknesses, not a whole lot of coverage. Um, I would, if I had to rank him, I'd probably put him in C, in C tier, but, um, I think that with the correct changes, um, I think he could easily move up to B. That, that's just some brother, brotherly love, right? You know, some, some constructive criticism. What, what, what do you think, Anthony? I like it a little better than the C teams, I'll be honest, like, uh, yeah, there are some definite type weakness, you know, some, like we talked about, uh, fire is a big weakness universally, but it's less Pokemon than, like, the other, like, the other two C-tier teams where it's, like, huge water and huge ice for, like, four or five Pokemon, you know, electric four or five Pokemon, you know, have that. 
to me, it's a low B or I'd be okay with a high C. It's definitely higher than the two that we already have in C. But to me, it's like a low, lower B in my brain. All right, Alex, where where do you want to put it? You're, you're kind of the pendulum here. Um, well, I may only be saying it because I want him to trade me one of the birds. But, uh, you know, like, I think he's a B-tier team. Uh, I think Scizor and Gastrodon alone, like, make it, like, better than any of the teams that we've put in C so far. I do agree that there are a lot of, like, overlapping weaknesses, and that's never good in the draft. And, but, like, I- I'd like to give Crudati some credit. He's-, he's pretty good at the drafts that he does. So, like, he'll probably trade it up into a B-tier team. But, you know, it's a Scizor, man. Come on. That's... That's gonna bullet punch your your toga kiss pretty hard, as we've seen in <laughs> in seasons past. I'm gonna tell you what the berry won't save you. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna give it a beat here. I don't think he's seaworthy. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I can agree with that. Just just needs a few changes, but I think he has the flexibility to uh, make them. All right, next we got Cole and the Driftdale City Dragapults. Um, this was the team that had Suicune and Heat Ran making up its uh, major core. Uh, Alex, a- any thoughts on the Dragapults? Where where would you put them? Um. Well, I mean, like, I, just so I don't like repeat everything that we said when we talked about it. Like, I, I think his team could use like a a heavier hitting Pokemon. I mean, like Heatran can hit pretty hard, but protecting it's an issue um i think he's also a b-tier team i I wouldn't i mean like a couple of changes he might be a little bit higher like maybe even an a but i i I think he's a b-tier team what do you think anthony highest b team so far yeah highest b yeah you echo that kevin or would you put him somewhere else i would echo that yeah all right next we got Alex's team, the Lammertown Gengars. So, Kevin, where where would you put Lammertown? Arcanine, Mamoswine, Exeggutor, Vaporeon, Miss Magius. You know, a, a slow team, but it's got a couple trick room options here. I think Alex's team is uh, pretty well-rounded overall. Um, as far as where I would place it, though... Um, can you bring up? Uh, can you bring it up on the screen? Yeah. I'm on mobile. I can't really swap screens. Oh yeah, no problem. Give me two seconds. Okay, yeah. So like we got the we got the heavy hitting mammoth swine with priority that can't be intimidated. We got uh, our canine that can improve his allies' bulk with intimidate and snarl. Like we got trick room users. I would. I would place it at a low A in my in my opinion. What what do you think, Anthony? Are you, are you echoing Kev, Kevin's sentiments? I do like to put Alex down, but I do think uh, I don't know if I would say low A. I would probably say again another high B, but low A I would also be acceptable with it. Yeah, I, I think it's somewhere over there. Um, yeah, somewhere between high B, low A. Uh, I, I, I think it's better than Drift Bales. I was going to say, if I'm looking between yeah. him and Drift Bale, I like it better than Drift Bales because yeah. he does have Ar- heavy Ar- radar. Arcanine does a, a lot of work with that, for sure. Just having the utility mm-hmm. there. Um, yeah, for, for me, it's tough. Alex, where, where do you want to go? High high B or low A? Um, I mean, like, I, I was kind of, like, ragging on my own team before we even started the cast, but, like, I, I, I did, like, I think I did a decent enough job, like getting like the like the shell of the TR team that I wanted to do for this, because like doubles not my not my forte. Like when I played it, you know, like last gen and seventh gen, like I did a lot of trick room teams. It's just what I know how to do. So like, I, I would give myself low A compared to some of the other teams that we talk about. But uh, you know, if you guys want to stick me in B, I'm totally okay with that. No, I, 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 think, I think low A. You know, so low right A. behind me, just like last season. That's what Jesus you H. Yikes. Christ. Look, I can't deal with Pittsburgh's ego and yours, champ. So, like, we got to either take turns or, like, 
work out a schedule like my my parents when I was a baby. Listen, I, I get know. you every other weekend, bucko. Buckle up. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you're stuck with me. Good Listen, lord. I I think I think that um I think that Alex is underselling himself. Uh, I think that he, if he's not underselling himself, like, I think he's hustling. I've known a lot of hustlers. I'm dating no, one. No, right no, now. no, 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 no. He, he, he's not. No. So genuine he, in my self-deprecation, man. <laughs> so genuine. But thank you for the for that vote of confidence. I appreciate you for sure. I do like you as much as I rag on the miners. You know, I do. But um, I was only ever there because uh, I'm friends with for alligators. But you're the only one with personality and your brother. So, you know. <laughs> We're fine. The rest of them, though, they're, they're a little sensitive. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying I'm not letting my guard down. That's all I'm saying. All right, Smart next boy. we got the New York Yankees. So this is uh, another one of our rain team attempts here. A uh, lot of offensive options, though. Ludi Colo, Kangaskhan, Polyrath, Quillfish, Hitmonchan, Hypno, Persian, Amistar, and Seeking. Um, another rain team though that was just like, well, I don't have a rain user or abuser, so I'll just pick water types. But uh, Anthony, where, where would you put New York here? So I already said it. I think to our other rain teams. Yeah, I already said it. I think they're the better rain. They're the best rain team, if we're going to be honest. To me, out of all of the, the three rain teams we saw, um, they're the best. The problem, of course, is they don't have a reliable user, but. You know, if they can maybe find something with like Prankster, if something gets traded, or, you know, because it seems like they would have to get rid of um, their Ludicolo in order to have like Politoed. Yeah. But, you know, may not I'd be probably the worst rather have Ludicolo, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, it may not be the worst decision because, you know, Polyrath and Amistar are pretty freaking good in the rain, you know, at Swift Swim Sleepers. Um, they're definitely not as good as Ludicolo, um, but. You know, so I would say to me, they are definitely a B team, um, but they're definitely like leagues ahead of the C of the, you know, to me, rain team. I just want to say before I ask Kevin and Alex's opinion, people be sleeping on Volby and Illumise. I, I, Illumise, however you want to pronounce it. I, I love those Pokemon. They get Prankster, they get all the cool stuff, especially Illumise gets uh, fake tears too. So prankster fake sears is pretty good on a rain team. Off topic on pronunciation, if I hear you say magmatar ever again, you, you mean you mean me Magmortar? It kills me every time you say it. <laughs> Magmortaro. The word mag mortar is in it. It is in the word. It's fire related. Magmo. Rotor. Mag Maracas. I, I gotta go see if my tank is waterproof. Hold on. <laughs> uh, All right, Kev, Maggles. Kev, but before you go, you know, skinny dip with your toaster, what what do you think about New York? Where would you put them? Um did you say uh did you say he had uh Ilamise? No, no, no. I was just saying no. people be sleeping on No, the, he just oh, wished that Pokemon. someone did. Yeah. Oh, and yet okay. he himself didn't pick them. No, because so, it's not yeah. conducive to my strategy, but oh. I totally would. Whose I almost, strategies? Who strategizes? This is the trap. But I talked other people into taking them, so. I, yeah, I, would, fun. I would say uh, high C, low B, but I would say above the Scrafties running team, but I don't know if it quite makes B tier, but um, we'll see if, you know. Well, the baseline is the Badoops, so it's better than that. Um. <laughs> Yikes. Well, we put it on the chart already. Like, <laughs> God will smite you. <laughs> I, 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 fucking okay, I'm, I'm going to intersect here, um, and I'll kind of let Alex kind of go with this and make his final decision. I think it's somewhere around the Slow Kings rank. I um, think such a, I think it's B. Yeah, I think it's a B tier team. I mean, uh, another thing that I don't think we really touched on is that like none of these Pokemon are particularly bulky. In addition to him trying to have to set up the rain, he's got to keep them alive. Like yeah. Ludicolo he's has got a like, lot a, of fake out. I think that's kind of the thing. Like I'm just gonna flinch you a bunch, but yeah, yeah I mean, like I, I would give it a B. You know, this is a B tier team, I guess. Like you know. In the situation the rain gets up, it's very scary. I, I, I think it's like over here. 
Yeah. Kind of like it better than Diamond agree. Desert Dwellers just because Rain is so strong. Like, he just has to do a couple things, and then he's got, like, the best Rain team by far, and then he's probably up in A tier if you have the best Rain team by far, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And doubles, so. All right, next we got the Oklahoma Thunderous, our good friends at Couch Pilot Games. Azumarill, Salamence, Lucario, Manectric, Nidoqueen, Blossom, Lopany, Altaria, and Houndoom. What do you think, Kevin? Where where would you put Oklahoma? I mean, I, I said in the analysis, it's a really well balanced team. He's got a lot of you know good things going for it. I think the only thing that's really missing is just a little bit of help for the uh, for his S tier pick. Um, uh, but I mean, I would put it in high B, I think. Well, what do you think, Alex? Where, where would you put Oklahoma? Um, I see, like, I wanted Lucario. Like, every season, like, Oklahoma takes, like, one or two Pokemon that I actually wanted. Um, I would give him, like, I know a high B, a low A also. I mean, like, you guys brought up a really good point. I didn't even think about it because, like, I look at Azumarill and immediately just think Choice Ben, Aqua Jet, go, but it's doubles. So, like, I would – it's questionable to me now that I look at it again. I feel like he might have, like, done better by, like, taking Gengar or something again because, like, he did really well with that one season. But I would put it high B at least, but if not A tier. All right. What, what do you think, Anthony? To me, he's an A team. I'll be honest. I think this looks like an A team. I think the problem is the Zoomerill. But again, I'm not faulting Denver or Boston. You know, for like you can make one or two changes to make it a better, a much better team. To me, it's a very good team. It's just the Zoomerill is the most glaring weakness, and maybe because it's the S tier that makes people like a little more leery of it. But like, to me, it's still an A team. Yeah, I feel like B is underselling it a little bit. Yeah, I mean, like, mm-hmm. Couch Pilot is also, like, a good player. Like, I would make him an A team, like, no matter what he brought. He could have, like, nine Bidoofs. He'd find something, so. Yeah. All right, if, if you guys think A, like, where in A? Because I, I, I think this is somewhat high. I think it's better I, than mine. I would put it... I'm, I'm debating whether it's above Denver or below Denver, but it's one of those two. Yeah. Because to me, again, like those are both the teams where it's like you make one or two changes and they're like F teams. To me, like that's my thought. Which one would beat the other if we just had like, okay, you got to play tomorrow? The, I think he wins that does, weather war. I was say, does Oklahoma because he has Altaria weather? Oh yeah, he's he has now. Altaria. But I mean, it is Altaria like, ha, I win. I have Altaria, like it is. Well, it shuts off the chlorophyll for like her other Pokemon. Like, yeah. I mean, like, I mean, like, I, 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 I you ran a mix Salamence, you know, like, like other than Altaria and Salamence, his team isn't, I mean, Manetric's fast, but. Nidoqueen has Sheer Force and it's pretty bulky. I mean, like, I, I would give it to Oklahoma, like, as yeah. it stands for right now. I mean, I, I, I can see it. I mean, I, I was almost ready to. If someone said S tier, I, I, w- I wouldn't say otherwise. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't fault them on S tier either. Honestly, like I said, it's the. I think I'm also as much as I'm saying like we're all blinded by the Azumarill, and that's why we were saying like B. I might be underselling it that it might be an S team. It's just the Azumarill shutting me off of that. Yeah. All right. Next, we got PSG. So this is another kind of sand team, and they also got like a Disquake going on. So Garchomp, Papadon, Rotom Frost. Taurus Meganium, and then a slew of, you know, just Pokemon with Dugong, Rapidash, Gunsparce, and Starmie. So, Alex, where, where would you put PSG? Uh, they're a high B, low A team for sure. Um, I, I like his team better than I like mine too, to be honest. I think like the Garchomp, Hippowdon combo is like strong, even if he doesn't do any kind of like bright powder shenanigan. Um, Starmie is a C tier pick, but that's also just like a really good Pokemon, you know, just to have in the back pocket. Strong. Uh, Tauros, a good Intimidator. I would give him an A team. He, he's an A tier for sure. All right. I I can't tell if you're making grimaces or not, Anthony, or if you just got something in your head. 
But. I'm, just, I'm just thinking about it, honestly, because to me, this is like we were talking about predictability with Denver. This team to me seems like arguably like the most predictable. I think they have five Pokemon that are usable on the team. And like, maybe like, uh, so I would more lean like high B. I also, but again, those you know, four or five are really good. So like high B, low I like Alex kind of said. I don't know if I like it better than the team. Again, I'll give you the credit where it's due, Alex. Um, Thank you. But rarely. Um, but the yeah, to me, I would say if, if we're gonna put it in A, it's below Lavender Town, but it's or higher than Driftdale is a B. All right. Well, what do you think, Kevin? What's the tiebreaker? Uh, uh, let me see the team composition again because I, I agree with both of them, but I want to like have visual aid here. Um, I would give them low A, uh, below Lavender Town, um, because they they got a lot, but the predictability factor for me is kind of kind of like what Pittsburgh just said. Just it five good picks, the chance always bringing those though. So, all right. Uh, so PSG going in the A tier. Next, we got the Phoenix Primal. So we got Kevin's team, uh, Togekiss, Torkoal, Dust Noir, and Driftblim, Metacham, Stantler, Steelix, Sharpedo, and the future MVP, Vigoroth, <laughs> rounding it out. Definitely, you know, that C doesn't stand for the tier it's in. It's for the team captain right there. <laughs> so what? What, what do you think, Anthony, about the uh, Primals? I think we have our first S team. I'll be honest. I think this is a really good team. I was going to say that, too. Damn, bold words. All right. Anything you want to say, Kevin? Um, thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> I wasn't. I was getting. I wasn't gonna rank myself that high, but I. I appreciate it. No, nah, man. It, like you have so much bulk to be aware of. Like even if you never got a trick room off, like Dustmore is hard to remove. Like it's one what one thirty or one thirty five in both defenses. One yeah. disgustingly high. Like and it still has pain split. So that's a thing. Um, no, it's good. Yeah, it sucks. It, it was <laughs> definitely the bigger off, though, right? Like without bigger off. Oh, 100%. Well, I mean, that's so me, obviously. obviously. That's that's all I've been looking at, like trying to prepare for the game tomorrow. It's like, what's he going to do with that fucking bigger off? You know, yeah, like, what's he going to do? Why is it there? What's and now when I go to play him tomorrow, it'll be in the six, but I'll never see it. <laughs> <laughs> Just the fact that it's there is all we need. Plus, he took Drift Blim. Uh, Drift Blim's a sleeper. Uh, oh, you're Drift, a little Drift hesitant Blim's there, great. but you got to believe in the balloon, Drift dude. Zap and Will O Wisp, I mean. Kind of does what it does in singles, but. All right, a couple more teams left. Pittsburgh Pulte guys. So, Anthony's team. Uh, Alex, what what are your thoughts on Pittsburgh? This, this is Chriset, twelfth pick, Cresselia, Infernape, Murkrow, Empoleon, Porygon Z, Swampert, Rotom, Base Form, Rampardos, and Glaceon. Yeah, once again, I'm going to say S. Uh, you really just kind of uh, punched me right in the nads with this schedule, huh? Just like S, S, and then I don't even remember who my third week opponent is because I'm so obsessed with these two. Like, yeah, it's an S tier. Sweetie, we all know you're obsessed with me, but keep going. Oh, my God, I'm gagging. <laughs> I should have died in the woods. Like, Are, are you going to go with that, Kevin, or what, what do you think? I would... I would say s tier also but stay away from my cats <laughs> yeah yeah i also tell him that when he comes over my house so. L- listen though i've been burned with this before last season i said that pittsburgh was the best team i put them in s rank and they let me down yeah but i was very one note last season this time i actually intentionally was like i'm not gonna be one note this time <laughs> all right next we got the tokyo Togekiss. Um, another, probably the rain team that got screwed over the most. Um, I think they, like I said, I think they just got confused on which way to go after so many teams were trying to go rain, but 
King Drum, Milotic, Blastoise, Lapras, Spiritomb, Chansey, Agron, Luminion, and Grumpig. What do you think about this team, Kevin? Where, where would you slot them? Um, see, I don't want to be mean because I already feel like a jerk because I took her S tier pick, her mascot. Um, but it's definitely not my favorite of the rain teams. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of torn between whether I like Tokyo or Scrafty's team more, but I think, I think it's for me, I think it's C, but well, I, I, I'm willing to hear, you know, other opinions and maybe I'll be swayed. All right. Well, what, what are your thoughts, Anthony? Where, where would you slot them? I don't want the Badoops to be alone. Oh, so. that's cold. Damn. <laughs> oh, I don't, I, I don't know if it's that. I, I, I don't think it's. I mean, I like, if I look at this it's, team it's a, and the did and you it, know the Badoop team like side by side, I'm gonna pick this every time. I, okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I one mean, one doesn't agree. have a Badoop. We we. Yo, I, first I, of all, one of them doesn't have a Badoop. I agree. It is way better than the Badoops. However, I don't think they're better than Black City. I think they're, if they're going to be a C, they are the lowest C. I, I can kind of agree with that. Look, it is, I like Milotic more, like, you know, in game use wise than I like any Pokemon that the Badoofs pick. So I would put it at the bottom of C tier. I just feel bad him being the only person in the D tier. Then I tell him to stop picking gone. Ditto, okay? It's always in a high tier and he always picks it. It wasn't I mean, even that it is high a, of a I tier. I mean, it could be a D tier team, you know, like, uh, I'm sorry, Tokyo. I mean, like, I, I can't really argue against it. I just think that. I, I, I don't think I can. I can. I don't think I can do that as the person moving. The yeah, I don't, I don't think, think I can, I can put can it in the detail. Like it's got Spiritomb, you know, like that's good. Like I said, yeah, it, it is Miles above it. it Last boys in my life. <laughs> <body. laughs> no. Can we rename the tier like for next one and just be like Buffalo Bidoops? Like I just. Oh, so like, that's just me. Well, no, because then it's not a D tier. It's just like his own little space. A little place for his team of Ninjask and Ditto and yeah, whatever else. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> Wolf. All right. Um, last, last, last team here. We got the Vero Beach Volcarona rounding out season eight. Latios. They got the Weezing Slacking Core, Azelf, Weavile, Golduck, Sceptile, and Shuckle and Regirock. All right, Kevin. What, what, what are your thoughts here, Vero? I think it's um, I think it's an easy A tier pick. It seems like they, you know, kind of have a healthy mix of, you know, of power and you know defense. They, you know, I just think that I, I think it's going to be a formidable contender this season. So I'm going to say A for me. What do, What do you think, Alex? Where Where are you slotting Vera? I'm going to have to agree with that. Uh, I think it's a pretty solid A team. It's got a lot going on really good offensive options uh good defense good job man <laughs> anthony do do you echo that i could even argue lo the lowest s team honestly i really like this team um oh, is so that's strong a, man that's a big jump i think so i think the team i love weezing i think weezing's really good this gen I think, you know, having the slaking with it, I think Latios is really good, Tailwind, yep, you know, fast, hits hard, you know, he's got a lot of good heavy hitters, he's got some bulk to back it up. I'd be okay with A, but honestly, I think he, yeah, I, I think Primals are better, but I wouldn't hate an S team tier on this one. Do you think it's better than Oklahoma? That's where I'm tripping myself up because again, like, I, like, I mean, like I, if you kill the Azumarill so out of your mind, I'm I think still that, so biased by that Azumarill. <laughs> but, but honestly, the Azumarill is really good against that Latios, but like not against that. But is it good against no, Weezing when it doesn't get huge power? <sighs> and it's weak to Weezing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Weezing just gonna slug bomb it and will-o-wisp it. Ooh. 
Yeah, but it's good yeah. against Latios, Weavile, Regirock. I mean, it's not that good against Latios. Latios. Is it good against yeah. Latios when Latios thunderbolts it? Mm. That feeds it, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe we put him below, below Oklahoma then. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. All right. I, I think that's solid. Okay, any any last changes? Anyone want to advocate for anything else? Last little look. Um, I wouldn't hate PSG moving down to B. I like so. that because I like things a little even, and A A tier seems a little crowded. Yeah, to me they don't seem as good as the A teams. Like we said, there's just that four or five Pokemon to me, which is like showing that it's a B team. All right. Oh my God! You changed. You changed the. the- you changed the tier to, to God. You guys that, happened, that? that happened in the beginning, bro. Yeah, Where you like been? the third team. I'm sorry. I'm like <laughs> leaning back and using my phone for this. So like I couldn't really see. But when I leaned in, I saw it. That was pretty funny. All right. I feel better now. All right. So we're all good. Okay. If anyone wants to complain, just remember it was these three who voted on all this. It wasn't me. No. You no facilitate this. Commit. We do the same thing every time. <laughs> Besides, you're kind of running everything, so it's kind of like saying, oh, I'm the manager, but it was clearly my, you know, co-worker. It had nothing to do yeah, with me. Yeah, oh, yeah that's toxic. I've worked in retail right, for so long. I know how it goes. It's never the manager's fault. It's always the employees underneath. Shit goes downhill. All right. And they say that, trickle down economics doesn't work. <laughs> you know, it's it's top-down economics, right? That's oh, yeah. He just... Mm-hmm. Give it's me all coming money together. And it'll flow down. No. Mm, love that for you. <laughs> all right. So here's our tier list. Pittsburgh and the Primals, both here on this podcast, both making the S tier. We'll have to see which one makes it out. Uh I don't, I don't know. I've been burned by Pittsburgh before. That that that's don't all. Don't be I've rude. Heard. Hey, I am the third ranked team in this league, apparently, or something. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe I should change my equations a little bit. But um, bunch of good A teams, some good B teams that are only a piece or two away, some C teams that you need to sit down, look in the mirror, and then we got Doug God, the Buffalo Badoops, chilling. Holding all of us up. That's why he's at the bottom because he's holding <laughs> all of us up here. You know. So. Thanks, guys. <laughs> the Badoos ran so we here. Can I know it was a long podcast, but <laughs> I appreciate all of you. Uh, thanks again, Kevin, for making your first appearance on here, and uh, good luck in your first major league battle against our very own Alex and uh, Anthony. Just don't burn me again. You know. I, I, I want I want to see Pitt, Pittsburgh, you know, at least make a finals here, all right? I'd like to. Yeah. All right. Thanks again, guys. Have a good one. You as well. See you.